Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Bright Path. And on this Memorial Day, 2024, here in the United States, I am recording episode 248 of our Managing Uncertainty Podcast. And I want to tell the story of the most memorable Medal of Honor citation that I remember on this day where we honor the sacrifice of America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, coast guardmen, Marines and others who gave their lives in defense of our country. And that is of U.S. Army Captain Benjamin L. Solomon. Now, Captain Solomon was not a combatant. He was a dentist. He was a dentist acting as a regimental surgeon in World War II. He was serving in Saipan in the Marineras Islands on July 7th, 1944. Uh, he was assigned to the 2nd Battalion of the 105th Infantry Regiment of the 27th Inf Infantry Division. And his regiment's 1st and 2nd Battalions were attacked by an overwhelming force that was estimated between three and 5,000 Japanese soldiers. It was one of the largest attacks attempted in the Pacific Theater during World War II. Although both units fought furiously, the enemy soon penetrated the battalion's combined perimeter and inflicted overwhelming casualties. In the first minutes of the attack, 30 wounded soldiers walked, crawled, or were carried into Captain Solomon's aid station, and the small tent soon filled with wounded men. As the perimeter began to be overrun, it became increasingly difficult for Captain Solomon to work on the wounded. He then observed a Japanese soldier bayoneting one of the wounded soldiers lying near the tent. Captain Solomon, firing from a squatting position, quickly killed the enemy soldier. Then, as he turned his attention back to the wounded, two more Japanese soldiers appeared at the front entrance of the tent. As these enemy soldiers were killed, four more crawled under the tent walls. Rushing them, Captain Solomon kicked the knife out of the hand of one, shot another, and bayoneted a third. Captain Solomon butted the fourth enemy soldier in the stomach and a wounded comrade then shot and killed that enemy soldier. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Captain Solomon ordered the wounded to make their way as best they could back to the regimental aid station while he attempted to hold off the enemy until they were clear. Captain Solomon then grabbed a rifle from one of the wounded men and rushed out of the tent. After four men were killed while manning a machine gun defending their position, Captain Solomon took control of it. When his body was later found, 98 dead enemy soldiers were piled in front of his position. Captain Solomon's extraordinary heroism and devotion for duty, devotion to duty, are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon him, his unit, and the United States Army. I was reading from Captain Solomon's Medal of Honor citation, which he was awarded posthumously in 2002 by President George W. Bush following a congressional authorization uh, and subsequent investigation that occurred in the years uh, since uh, World War II. No medical officer is allowed to bear arms against the enemy, um, but in this situation, defending your men that are being slaughtered uh, is definitely an exception uh, to that requirement under the Geneva Convention. What has always stood out to me about this story is how, in the face of overwhelming chaos, a man who was not a combatant kept his wits about him and defended his men, taking the right actions to preserve as much life as possible, enabling them to retreat safely to the regimental aid station. There's no doubt in my mind reading the reports of Captain Solomon's heroism on that day that many more men would have been killed had he not taken the actions that he did, which I found to be in keeping with how we have discussed crisis leadership here on our podcast. So on this Memorial Day, I'm recording this on Memorial Day, I believe you'll hear this tomorrow on Tuesday. I hope that you'll take a moment and remember the sacrifices made by men like Captain Benjamin Solomon. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. 
Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.